why would I take somebody stronger than me to defend them? Because again, you don't know what happens outside the house, you know. And I'm my thing. But how, why would I risk that? How I think because is that because I I see you strong. <laughs> so why would I take? You? Because I'd rather win the competition knowing that I have strong competitors. That uh, I chose uh, Tools and Libu because we had an alliance. They kept their end of the deal. Days. Listen, listen, listen. No caps, no caps at all. Tonight's show, I'm talking about the entire show as a whole, was the best. Eh? In 50 or 51 days, tonight's show, hmm? tonight's appeal from the housemates to Temba, the ultimate veto power holder, was the best show ever in this season of Bibi Nzamzi season three. Guys, no freaking caps. No way! That was intense. That is how to earn your spot in the finals of Big Brother Show, guys. I mean, you know what? Without much further ado, let's just quickly get into the freaking video. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. I am the girl with the tea. Guys, I am super excited. Ah, oh, my days. I'm super excited. Listen, for those of you who missed out, tonight was the night that Temba, the ultimate veto power holder, utilized his power to select two housemates through to the finals, but not without some level of begging, groveling, appealing from the rest of the housemates to him according to Big Brother's instructions. And guys, it was wild. Listen, before I even continue this video, eh, let me first of all give Temba some massive, massive accolades. Temba is freaking smart. Temba is freaking strategic. That guy gets sense. Forget all that tattoo on his body. Listen, if you are, um, how do they call it? If you are stigmatizing Temba, <laughs> you lose. Because that guy, he's smart. He's a brainiac. What Temba did tonight, how he composed himself, how he put the housemates one after the other on a tight spot to explain why, give him reason why. He should choose them to go along with him to the finals, guys. That is smart. Even though his reason is kind of different from my reason, guys, I give him all the accolades. Like, this dude is freaking smart. And guys, another reason why I'm really excited is because I did a video earlier today talking about what I would do if I were in Temba's shoes. And I mentioned on that video that the best, smartest, and strategic thing to do would be to choose the weakest links in the house, and that is Libo and Tools. And guys, that was exactly what Temba did. So this was how it started. Big Brother had prepared a throne room for Temba. Yes, guys, it was beautiful. Just like Julius Caesar was about to sit on his throne, and, you know, have some drinks, some wine, some fruit fruits, some cupcakes, you know, just like a king would be served. Big Brother had prepared a throne room for Temba. Now he had also placed a stool in front of the throne, you know, for the housemates to sit down and in one minute and 30 seconds appeal, appeal their case to Temba. However, some of the housemates, they flopped big time. They came to come and play emotional blackmail. Some of them came to come and sell themselves. Oh, I've been very competitive. You know what? Let me just go ahead and start. So with Gashwan, yeah, he had one minute, 30 seconds, just as Big Brother had given to make his case, plead his case. And dude was going on about, oh, Temba, you remember we promised each other we are going to take each other to the finals. And I was thinking, okay, dude, how is that relevant in this current situation? Even though people made a promise to each other, did you actually keep your part of the bargain? Did you actually save Tender's ass at every given opportunity you had? Fine, even though you chose him as deputy on one occasion or probably two. Dude, what have you been doing? Have you been having his back in the house? And now one question that Temba asked almost all the housemates, except Mpo, of course, was, um, are you a strong contender? Do you consider yourself stronger than me? If yes, why do you think I should choose you over every other person to the finals instead of me to choose the weaker people in the house? And guys, Gashwan opened his mouth and said, eh, for a fair chance, for the fair game. <laughs> I mean, dude was so confident, thinking that his friendship with Temba was going to aid his plea. Anyways, moving on, we had the second housemate, Terry. Guys. Terry came and was speaking English grammar like, like she was rapping as if she was actually giving a speech, a presidential speech. But then I love the fact that Temba cut her short and asked her, 
do you consider yourself stronger than me? She said, yes. She said, okay, why should I pick you other than other people? And then Terry actually gave a valid answer, which I liked. She said, well, she has been playing her game. And even though there are four of them that are in an alliance, that she is not one of those people that has been kissing his ass, you know, just so that he would pick her. And I'm like, okay, makes a lot of sense. Quite convincing. But then she's a strong contender regardless and then the next housemate that made a case to temba was libo guys this libo's case with temba was very very emotional i mean remember this morning um after temba won the ultimate veto power game he was literally crawling to his bed libo was the only person that saw him and ran to go and help him although that caused an opera on social media people were saying that oh libo was doing that for clout libo was doing it so that temba is going to save him but guys now nah, i saw genuine friendship i mean these people they have stuck to their alliance with integrity yes this one became a about chose this one for deputy and this abyss so no cheating they stuck to their alliance from day zero and so libo's reason was that he trusts temba and that was why they brought him into their conspiracy corner and then temba asked him if he felt he was stronger than him libo said yes even though he did not know because guys at that point in time you can't know which correct answer to give and then <laughs> temba said why should i pick you other than myself and then Libo was like, well, he doesn't really know, but probably just for, for, for the experience of it or whatever. Then something quite emotional happened. Temba asked Libo that, listen, this week is going to be hectic. The task that Biggie gave to us is going to be very, very brutal. And I need you to have my back. Are you going to have my back? Libo said, yes, I've been having your back. I'm going to have your back. Guys, that was very emotional. But I love the jovial conversation that both of them had. And then the next housemate to play the case was Tato. Now, guys, there was something I forgot to mention. Whilst Gashwan was pleading his case, Temba had asked him a very, very sensitive question that, look, I know you are my friend, but should I choose your woman over you? Guys, Gashwan has said no, that Temba should choose him instead of Tato, that he wants to get to the finals. I say, eh? So all this, baby, 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 I love you, baby, I love you. Now for Mount, you cannot sacrifice all the way you have been promising Tato. Oh, I will give you all I want to give to you. I will give you everything in my capacity. There was an opportunity to save Tato, to get through to the finals. But Gashwan discarded Tato and instead chose himself. I said, okay, oh, if that is how people play love, I beg to decline. And then Temba decided to scatter some tables. The moment Tato came in, Biggie gave her the instructions on what to do, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Temba asked her that, okay, fine. Who do you want me to choose to the finals? Because your man was here, you know your man is my friend. I asked him and he said that I should choose him instead of you. So what do you want? Guys, Tato said, you know what? Go ahead and pick whoever you want. You know, at the end of the day, do you play your game. Let it be about you, not about any other person. Guys, <laughs> Temba now asked Tato, oh, do you think you are a strong contender? Tato said, yes said, oh, do you think you're stronger than me? Tato said, well, yes. You know, one thing I loved about um, Temba's style of questioning was that you don't beat around the bush with Temba. He will just cut you short from all your blabbing. Go straight to the point. Give me a straightforward answer. Tato was trying to be politically correct. Everybody was trying to double their way around. But no, give me a straightforward answer. Why should I pick you, who is stronger than me, to the finals other than someone else that is weak? And then there was Sister Mara. Guys, Sister Mara's own part cracked me up. I laughed so hard. Guys, this, like today, I've not laughed really hard than the way I laughed when Sister Mara was talking. You know, Sister Mara has a problem. You know, he's very, very confident to the point of pride. Yes, his overconfidence sometimes is at his own detriment. So he came. The, the, the catch word was appeal, make an appeal. This guy came and was started to talk. You know, ever since week one, I came into the house. I've been trying to find myself. And now I feel like I've found myself. I've been very, very competitive. That's why I have a competitive spirit. I've been playing the game. That's why you see me doing so much in the arena. The guy was just blabby. And I said, ah, oh, God. They say you should come and beg to be taken to the finals. Instead, you came to come and pry to carry you apart and say, oh, this is who I am. This is what I have achieved. <laughs> first two weeks in the show I was still trying to find myself and I think I had a lot of doubt but after that I believe that I've shown that I deserve a spot in the finale and this goes to my arena games nights and also the HOH games. I love the fact that Temba quickly cut him short. Do you consider yourself to be stronger than me and was like oh uh, you know I, I wanted to start a Temba like now give me a straightforward answer. And then, hey, hey, oh he was trying to double his way around it and at that point guys he lost it because Temba did not even give him the chance to talk. Dude was obviously trying to cover his tracks because he knew he had messed up. But then there was no chance and that was that. And then there was tools. Now guys, remember, 
Temba is in an alliance with Terry, Libo, and Toast. So he was in a dilemma. For him, one person had to be dropped for two out of his alliance to be safe. So when he was talking to Tools, he was asking Tools the same question. Oh, do you consider yourself strong? Tools opened his mouth and said, yes. I said, Tools, shut up. I beg you that you have not even been tested. Just shut up and keep quiet. Be humble, you know? But Tools was trying to be brave, like, oh, yes, yes. So Temba asked him, right now, do you think you are stronger? He said, well, for now, he doesn't think he's stronger. So Temba, too, was trying to make a case for himself. Like, okay, why do you think I should pick you instead of picking someone who is weaker? And Tools was like, well, you might think someone is weak, whereas they are strong and that was when his own timer was cut short and then we had Mpo the last housemate guys Mpo came to come and play emotional blackmail I'm sorry guys but that was that was terrible I mean come on Mpo you cannot come and play emotional blackmail with someone who is also competing for two million Abba like guys I'm sorry to say oh but Mpo came from the angle of oh Temba please pick me to the finals I'm doing this for my son since I came into the house I've not won any task I've not won any game I've not been head of house I've, I've always been nominated and I have survived like she was literally shooting herself in the Lego you are begging someone and you are pointing at the fact that for every time you are nominated you are sitting down what does that mean it means you're strong babe and then she went ahead to say, oh, you know what just happened recently? Like she was literally referring to Libo um, taking her praying scarf um, a, um, for a secret task. Like she was just playing that emotional blackmail card. And Temba did not say anything. Kep Temba kept quiet. I'm like, Umpo, you literally went in there. And in one minute, 30 freaking seconds, you shot yourself in the leg, selling yourself like that. And then you think, oh, Temba is going to find you more worthy than himself, more deserving, eh? So that he will now dump himself and then give the two million rand opportunity to you. I bet shift make a serious. And then finally, Temba made his choice. Big Brother had given him one minute to soak up everything, take everything into consideration and make his choice. And then finally, he picked tools and libo guys i was literally screaming in my apartment i was jumping up and down because that was exactly what i wanted temba to do now his reason for choosing those two people is because he has an alliance with both of them and he intends to honor his alliance and that taught me something about temba that in as much as temba can be very very annoying very very rude to women with a very very dirty mouth like when temba wants to say some things trash comes out of his mouth guys to be very honest temba for real is a man of integrity I mean, considering the fact that it's still a game, he still went ahead to pick his alliances, that's um, um, Libo and Tools. But guys, something in my mind is telling me that Temba is aware that Libo and Tools, there's a possibility that they are the weakest links in the house. Don't say I did not tell you, but you know what, just go ahead, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Finally, Temba's decision also puts the rest of the housemates up for eviction this week. Yes. So we have um, Terry, Mpo, Gashwan, Tato, and Sister Mara up for eviction. And guys, I have a strong feeling that three people will be going home this week because there's only two spots left. If we're going to have a top five for next week. So there's only two spots left. All right. And also, guys, I don't know if I mentioned that Temba emerged the head of house again this week. Congratulations to Temba. And Big Brother also went ahead to ask him to choose a deputy. And so he went ahead to choose Mpo. According to him, Mpo has never been head of house and she has never been deputy. Guys, at that point in time, I was looking at Mpo's face. I could imagine... <laughs> All the vile things that were in her heart like i begged you to save me to find as you did not now you are you are telling me to be your deputy to help you f you <laughs> are you happy with tender's choices let me know and i'll see you guys on our other videos soon have an amazing night's rest bye